As ever, we got our eraser and we got a pen and we start with a pencil. And every time I have to tell you to draw very lightly on the surface of the paper and then you can rub it out afterwards. What we need is we have a nice kind of tight rosebud. And so we'll start off with a circle. Um, and then we're going to have the stalk coming out kind of this way like that. So that gives us the feel of the shape of the where the rose is coming. Um, now from about here, this is a very tricky thing, very tricky. So uh, don't blame me if you get lost. Uh, and then that's going to want to kind of come out like that. That will come back on itself, and that will come back on itself too. Are you with me? All right. Now we're going to want a shape that's kind of a bit like a bull's horn, something like that. Or a bird flying, something like that. Well, I don't know what you'd call it. And this is a really, really difficult thing. Um, and then here, this is kind of the middle of the rose here, like that. And then that's going to want to come around in there, kind of like that. And that's sort of, that's sort of the rose. Um, and then you want these sepals coming out like that, one kind of up there and one there. And then a pair of leaves. So draw two curves coming out like that. Now when the rose comes out, it has these two, well it depends which kind of rose of course, but it has these two funny little bits sticking out there before you get to the leaf. And then and draw around it like that, so that we get they're kind of shield shapes, aren't they? And that's kind of basically it. Um, so now we need to draw it in. I'm using a completely different pen today. It's called an artist sketching pen. It's a Japanese thing I found in a shop. Um, and I'm going to start here. So with the with the top bit, that's going to be a nice smooth curve the bottom bit you want a little bit of raggedness in there like that and again on the inside curves that will then come up kind of behind there and this will come up kind of behind there like that and when you come back on it then that's kind of a folded over petal part so that's going to want a little little bit of raggedness there and again here ragged just a little bit like that, and then the rest of the, the kind of the bowl of the bud of the rose, it'll be like that. Now you want a line going up there and just kind of coming straight down there. Another one kind of comes up there like that, and then it, it just kind of goes in on itself, and that can then come around there, and, and again a little bit of a like that and that kind of looks like a rose I think it's a very difficult thing to draw um, the sepals will a little bit in the middle of it like that and there and then uh, probably want to do the leaves next so if you take this you can make it a slightly wiggly kind of line like that bring that up and round to there and that will just go over there a bit. Um, and again, do the same on this side. Like that. And that will just be over the top of the stem. Like that. And then, we don't want it a very prickly kind of rose, but just a few little bits like that. Now, th this is the difficult bit with the, with, <coughs> with the leaves, because they've got a serrated edge. So, don't follow around there. But go kind of wiggle, 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 wiggle. And again on this side. Like that. And take your time and you'll get there. And as ever, you might need to do it once or twice to get kind of good at it, really. I certainly have. Uh, I didn't just do this overnight. I've been looking at lots of roses and designs. One, two, three. Four, one, two, three, four, five, like that. And you want a 
time back and one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, like that. Good. Uh, and that's basically gill rays, and then on some nice. Um, we can have something like that here. Yeah. H A P P Y V and time something like that. So we can go whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. now. If you think I'm doing this quickly, it's because I suppose I've had a lot of practice and many years ago. I used to climb up outside people's shops and storefronts and paint the name outside. And I kind of learned a lot about letters and typefaces doing that. I spent quite a bit of time in printing as well, designing letterheads and things, so I handled a lot of type in my time. And uh, I learned uh, my spelling is not always best. Uh, so we can have a Something like that. Um, something like that. Uh, I'm just going to speed. Okay, and then as ever, we get our trusty eraser in. Make sure that the ink is dry before you rub it out. I know this will because this is a kind of alcohol-based ink. I think so. It dries very quickly. Uh, and it dries waterproof. At least I hope it dries waterproof because I'm now going to do a speed color in. Okay, there we have it. Happy Valentine's, and um, yeah, may may love come your way. Mm. Come again to Shoe Rainer Drawing School, www.shoerainer.com, for more drawing lessons soon. <laughs>